Hi everyone. Here's uh, what we have in the news from Ukraine today. Ukraine has been given an official EU membership candidate status. So that's good news, but again, this is not an instant fix to the situation currently going on in Ukraine. It's not going to miraculously stop the war. It takes years to become a full-scale member of the EU. And, of course, there is the ongoing fear of Russia. Um, meanwhile, Putin, in his usual fashion, is blaming absolutely everyone, particularly the U.S., but pretty much everyone else as well, uh, for the war, for uh, the food shortages, for the... Um, rising oil prices, and so on and so forth, because that's just what he does. Yet another uh, volunteer European activist was killed in action, and uh, an official funeral, funeral was held for him. Uh, I don't know if anybody's keeping score at this point how many non-Ukrainians died in this war. People who went to the front to fight, journalists on the ground reporting uh, about the war, um, people from human rights organizations, uh, assistant organizations, humanitarian aid organizations. But this is definitely impacting much more than just Ukraine. In a little bit of good news, um, this person, this woman, a medic, has been released after being um, held prisoner by Russians uh, for three months. Um, I don't know what it took, what gargantuan effort it took to get her released. So, as a medical professional... She was on the ground in Mariupol, and she was helping everybody. She was treating everybody, civilians, Ukrainian soldiers, Russian soldiers, when she was captured. And accusations against her said that she was a member of the Russian nationalist, I'm sorry, Ukrainian nationalist organization, which she was not, and there was no evidence of that. So she was finally released. Obviously, her family is hugely relieved. But how many are still being held captive? Thank you for watching.